They've been producing coal here since 1965. It's one of the few deep coal mines left in Britain. It once employed over 2,000 men, but over time, technology and machines took many jobs away. The present workforce is made up of around 700 men, and I was given the chance to join some of them on shift to see what working conditions are like in today's coal mining industry. Well, I've had the safety briefing, wearing all the protective gear, of course. There's no turning back now. Time to get into the shaft and uh, to go down 800 metres. Let's see how it goes. It takes just a few minutes to get underground, but we're still a long way from the coal face. Next, the miners have to travel five miles by train. It takes at least 40 minutes for this leg of the journey. The miners were keen to tell me that safety was still paramount in this job. Safety is the most critical thing about uh, about mining, and that's the from the start of the shift to the end of the shift every day, and uh, you know that's what people need to focus on. Oh, that in control. After some safety checks, it was then on to the next mode of transport. Yeah. And just lay down on your on your stomach. For the last thousand metres, we travelled on what's called a man carrying conveyor, which turned out to be a fast moving and very bumpy ride. And then, after just a few minutes by foot in sweltering heat, I got my first sighting of the coal face. It's taken two hours to get here. It's hot, noisy, confined, and but it's so exhilarating to see this beast of a machine cutting into the coal face. But whilst the heavy machinery does the cutting, it's still very much the miners who are in control of this complex operation and there's no room for error. I asked Andrew McIntosh from UK Coal why in this day and age men are still being injured or dying at work. We work extremely closely with the HSE, with the trade unions and with all of the workforce just to make sure we are as safe as it can be. Our investment has doubled on health and safety. Um, huge amounts of money go into the best equipment possible, so we're doing everything we can, but we just need to be vigilant every single day. Coal mining isn't as labour intensive as it once was, but despite advances in technology, it's still physically demanding stuff. Hours spent in dark and dirty chambers, some filled with explosive gases. But the miners I spent time with wouldn't do anything else and think it's an industry that needs support. I personally think they should be investing in the coal industry. It'd be a good place to start training people up, fetching apprentices in it, giving people hope, giving people a job. They should be opening coal, it, coal pits. It's thought this mine has the potential to produce coal for at least another 10 years. Everyone knows this is an extremely dangerous job, but many people feel that accidents and fatalities should be an aspect of the country's mining past and not its future. Charlotte Leeming, BBC Look North, Kellingley.